Thanks a lot. I followed. I'm going to play around and try to learn. I plan on going to school for C. C is a terrible language that should not be used in the modern age. It is, what, 50 years old? It is a bad and unsafe language. If you want to learn how to write C programs well, check out Zig. Zig is the future of C. Uh, the main website's better than the GitHub page. But the thing is, if you're going to work in C, you better be darn good at security. Because with C, it's almost impossible to write code that won't end up getting viruses or worms or other exploits. Because C doesn't have a, a, a strict type system. It has a very loose wonky donk type system. So when you hear people complain about, well, loosely typed languages or dynamically typed languages, C is kind of the ancient equivalent of a dynamically typed language. It's not dynamically typed per se, but it kind of is. You can just throw memory locations around. They're all unchecked. It's really, really bad. Um, Zig can be converted to C and Zig can, uh, well, it says right here, maintain it with Zig. Incrementally improve your C, C++, Zig code base. Use Zig as a zero dependency drop in C, C++ compiler that supports cross -compil compilation out of the box. So if you think you want to be a C developer, I would recommend that you start learning Zig. And then when you have to use C for some reason, you've got something that can help you make it more fail safe and integrate into modern code. Now, I'll tell you this, very few people are using Zig, but it used to be very few people were using Go, and now the whole internet has essentially been rewritten in Go or Rust, all the infrastructure for the internet. Um, and I think that Zig fills a niche like that. So right now, there are only a very few jobs available in Zig. But if you're looking at, you want to go to school for something, you're looking five years out, what the job market's going to be like then, Zig experts are going to have a place. That's my prediction. I could be wrong, but I think that Zig really feels fills an important niche and is getting a lot of traction. So I would not, and, and let's say it goes nowhere. Well, if you, for some reason, decide that you want to go into the C market, it will have prepared you better than any of your peers. Even, even if, if it doesn't become as big as go or rust. But I think, well, it already is. It already is because Bun is probably the first killer app written in Zig and Bun is making big headway in the, the JavaScript on the edge. And it Bun is poised to become essentially the next node. I think that that may actually happen. And that's written in Zig. So I think that now that it already has uh, corporate sponsors and it already has a, a killer app that people are using a Zig program without necessarily knowing or caring about Zig. If I'm wrong, I don't think I am on this one. Uh, I have to be more cautious because now that I'm older, it's it gets more difficult as you get older to determine what trends will be because you are not in the loop of the young people and the young people determine the trends because as they go to college and they do this and that, they are the ones that end up driving things. But I, I've i got a really strong sense about this one and uh, there's, there's a really good talk about it. Uh, Creeds of Craftsmanship, the Zen of Zig, do I have... Uh, do I have the the road to Zig? Here we go. I'm going to link you to this one. 
the road to zig 1.0 check that out 